So Summit Power is an independent power producer in Bangladesh. It has 18 power plants and almost 1,500 megawatts of power generation, making it responsible for about 15% of the total power generation of the country. This company was founded by Mr. Khan, one of the leading families of Bangladesh. Well, Bangladesh requires a lot of electricity, 160 million people. It's a huge opportunity, which is good for the country, good for the humanity, as well as very rewarding in terms of financial returns. So for Bangladesh to continue to grow at the 8-9% that it has been growing for the last 10 years, total electricity generation capacity needs to grow by about 16 to 18% every year just to maintain this growth rate. What is most important for us is first to make sure everybody in Bangladesh has electricity and then ramp it up to make sure they have enough electricity where they have sustainable quality of life. They use one third of the power of the average Indian. 30% of the country still doesn't have access to electricity. The modern civilization without electricity is not modern civilization. By generating more power, more people get access to power, which materially changes their life lifting people out of poverty effectively. And as you build these power stations, our little ecosystems grow up around them. Shops, restaurants, so th there's a whole host of indirect impacts. We realized our biggest bottleneck is our ability to raise capital. The fund invested 36 million US dollars as part of a 175 and a half million dollar overall package of debt and equity. So IFC and AMC did the same amount. IFC also did a debt piece and we brought in a technical investor for the balance. Which makes it the largest ever private equity investment into Bangladesh. The 175 million has really catapulted the company to an international company, to the international liquidity market, which is huge. IFC, I think, is an ideal way to access frontier markets simply because we are usually in first. Uh, we have excellent relationships, not just with the company we're investing in, but with the government. Because remember, in every country in which we operate, the government is not just the host government, but it's also a shareholder in IFC, so they have an interest in our project succeeding. Uh, and we have people on the ground, which most other funds don't. The first challenges we have to meet is to be able to raise long-term capital in a very systematic, sustainable, efficient manner. The transaction involves uh, taking Summit's existing assets, which will then be used to mobilize more capital to give them access to a much larger equity market than the one they have in Bangladesh. We are hoping to list in the Singapore Stock Exchange by early 2018. We made sure that we structured the exit at that entry point. And what that means is that we can IPO in Singapore Currently 1,500 megawatts of generating assets, developing about another 1,500 megawatts under construction, another 1,000 megawatts in immediate pipeline, and another 1,000 megawatts in the longer term pipeline. For us, Bangladesh and frontier markets are kind of our mandate and our bread and butter business. So the fact that we're in this transaction gives sponsors a lot of comfort that this makes sense and this is the country risk that they can accept. We're going through this stage of growth for the first time but they have seen this stage of growth before and it is therefore uh, that experience that they bring in, that wisdom that they bring in. IFC AMC has been hand-holding, they have been supportive, they're almost like an elder brother as we call it in Bangladesh. We are working with IFC not only just uh, to take financing, they're not just a banker to us. Uh, we have many bankers, but they're much more than that. They're a partner. We have a board member from IFC MC, Andrew E. Andrew is there to uh, guide the business on multiple levels. The ability to talk to a mature, experienced person like him on a regular basis is very enabling. This shows the strength of the IFC to lend its name and capital and to de-risk a market. And the overall development impact of bringing power to the people is very, very important. And we're very proud of that achievement. I think IFC has been a great development partner, not just for Summit, but also for Bangladesh.